I have a VRChat world here that's set up, and I'm going to show you how to upload it to Quest. It's pretty simple. First thing you need to do is change your Unity build version to be Android. Since Quest is an Android device, to upload it to Quest, you need to be on the Android build version of Unity. To do that, you have to go up to the top left, hit File, Build Settings, and then select Android and press Switch Platform. Now, if you don't have the Android version of Unity downloaded, there's going to be a, a prompt here that prompts you to download it. So just follow the prompt, download it. You'll probably have to restart Unity, but once you're done, you should be able to do this. So just select Android and press Switch Platform. Depending on what's in your project, this may take a little bit to switch over, but it just give it a moment and it'll work. So once that finishes, you can, like this world is basically ready to be uploaded to Quest. This should upload and it should be fine. What's important is go to VRChat World Game Object and you go to the Pipeline Manager. Your Blueprint ID needs to match the PC version of the world. So all we did was change the Unity build version and we're in the same scene. So it should be the same Blueprint ID as the PC version, but you can change this to any Blueprint ID that you want and it, this will be the quest version of that world that that id matches so if i went to content manager and let's say for instance i took this basement world and i pressed copy id and i pasted that in there and i pressed attach now if i were to upload this this would be the quest version of this basement world which means if you're on quest you'll end up seeing this th this attic world and if you're on pc you'll end up seeing the basement world it wouldn't really make any sense and things will be very broken so let's go ahead and find the attic world the right thing that we're supposed to do and paste that in there the other thing that's very important is your hierarchy your hierarchy must match the pc version of the world so you can duplicate this scene or upload any different VR chat world to any like blueprint ID, but if the hierarchy of those worlds don't match, the game will try to like, for every dynamic object, the game will try to link them together for Quest and PC. And since the hierarchies won't match, things won't link properly and weird things can happen. I've experienced crashes from things like this. So that's important. But all we did was we're in the same scene, we didn't, we're not touching the blueprint ID and we switched to the Android build version of Unity. So this should all be ready to upload. But if you look at this, it looks kind of bad. And the reason for that is the compression settings on the light maps. So your light maps are basically textures that are kind of over all your meshes that allows the game to simulate light in there. You need to make sure your lights are baked for Android. Otherwise you're gonna have a very large performance drop on Quest if, if you don't have baked lights. So when you bake your lights, you'll get a bunch of light maps. And on Quest, by because of the default compression on the light maps, it ends up looking very bad. So to fix that, you can find your light maps, which are usually in a folder next to your scene file. So if we select that, we have our light maps here. We can select each one of them and compress them as if they were a texture. So if we go to the inspector after selecting the light maps, you can see your compression settings down here. So basically, you'll have compression setting versions for every version, every build version of Unity that you have installed. So for, for you, you'll probably see default, PC, and Android. Now, if we go to Android, we can click on this override for Android, and this will change the compression settings just for the Android version of these textures. So we're gonna, let's make them a little bit smaller so the file size isn't so big. And what's important is changing the file format to RGBA compressed ASTC 4x4 block. I don't know why specifically this one works, but it does. And this is the one a friend told me to use and it works and it's great. So I recommend it. So just press apply after you have all four selected changing the compression settings you press apply let it load and it'll take a second to fix and it's done and now if we look at the scene it looks much better no more little blotches all over this all over the place so now it looks better there are some other things that we can do to help with performance one thing i like to do is to take the reflection probe cube map and bring it into the lighting settings under environment reflections to get this you go to window uh, rendering lighting settings. That way the, the entire map will use this reflection probe cube map for reflections. And then I can go in here, find the reflection probe, and I like to disable it. Um, 
I don't know if this step is completely necessary, but I like to do it and I end up doing it on all my worlds. I always disable all the reflection probes except for one, for the one that's in the lighting settings here. Another thing you should do is disable your post-processing. Post-processing doesn't work on Quest, so there's no point in having it. Just disable it. Don't delete it because you're, when you go back to your PC version, you're going to want it there. Also, you need to make sure that the hierarchies still match, so you're not going to want to delete anything that's in your hierarchy. There is a upload limit for Quest on VRChat, which it's, it's really high right now, so I, I can't imagine the vast majority of worlds are any bigger than this. The limit is 100 megabytes. If you are past that, one thing you can do is compress your textures, and all you have to do is find your textures, find the texture that you want to compress, um, select them and compress them on Android, um, just like we compressed the light maps. It's literally no different. And if you do that with all your textures, uh, you, you know, depending on what's in your project, you can cut down some large file sizes from that. So yeah, this is basically done. Um, it looks better. You know, in this specific ex example, there wasn't a lot going on in here, so it was probably going to run pretty smoothly anyways. Yeah, this should, this should be a very functional Quest build from just switching it to Android was enough to get this up there and compressing light maps I think was the major thing in getting this one ready for Quest. And so just upload it like normal if you go to your VR chat control panel. Um, you'll see here I've got some warnings. These warnings are for it's telling me that the shaders I'm using may not be compatible with Quest. Uh, to avoid this you can use shaders that are compatible with Quest. I don't really feel like going through and fixing that so and in my experience, standard and Autodesk shaders look look fine on Quest. I don't really have an issue with it. I also have a really bad habit of ignoring warnings in VR chat, so maybe maybe don't listen to me. <laughs> but yeah, this this is ready to upload. Just press build and publish for Android. And as long as your blueprint ID matches the PC version of the world, everything should go fine. And I think that's it. I wanted to make this because every once in a while someone asks me how to upload a quest and I never have a good resource to send them, and now I do. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got. Bye.